introducing Anonymous. Oh look, another villain slayer. How interesting. Anonymous closed her eyes again and a classic stupid minion shook her by the shoulder. Five more minutes, she muttered. Really, the taser? That's what they're going to go with? Then again, if it's not broken, don't fix it. She sighed after the initial jump with the electric shock, suddenly realizing how cold the table she was cuffed to was, and thus losing whatever sense of comfortable sleep she had anyway. Time to look around them. Let's see. Leather straps for the binds this time, none of that cheap polyester stuff. So is this one focused on class or practicality? Stay in the steel table, same with everything really, the pillars, the floor, the ceiling, all stainless steel. Seems practical. It's easy to clean and reflective, and they view of every angle so no one can hide. It might just be obsessive. Though the taser's current shouldn't have should have gone everywhere since everything's metal. Ah, but the minions are wearing rubber boots and gloves. Well then, whoever this was, this was an interesting and definite style. Too bad he's in Nemesis' town. No other villain lasts long here. Well, 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 you're awake, finally. Yeah, this guy definitely would not last long. Nothing to say. The minions seem to be some weird purple golem-like creatures. Must be a science project or something. Well, might as well chatter with the scientific idiot. No point in silence, really, with nothing important to hide. Not really. Nothing important to talk about. Unlike you, I've got nothing to hide. Oh, really? He laughed heartily. Then why do you wear this? He whipped her mask off dramatically, and he and his minions leaned in with a confused look on their faces. She couldn't help but smile. They had no idea who she was. Oh, the mask? That's just for style purposes. The blaze of my gloves, on the other hand. She rips her hands out of the bonds and knocks his head together with an unfortunate nearby minion, slices her feet free, and leaps off to the side, ready to fight. Those are more practical. The bald, plump, and now slightly dizzy man chuckled as if not embarrassed. Ah, that's cute. His lab coat was revealing a higher contrast with the skin as he turned a bit red. Powering up sounds rippled through the room as several minions, twenty at most, trained laser pistols on her. Feeling in control again, he was once more comfortable with laughing. My, you do look the part of the damsel in distress, whoever you are, and don't think I won't find out. You won't find out. Oh, and why is that young lady? And you are a very young lady. What, 14, 15, 17? But you won't find out because you won't be here very long. He doesn't like it when people mess with what's his. Ah, so you have a rescuer coming? No. Again, she couldn't help but smile. But this is his town. And I'm his teen hero to fight. He won't put up with competition. A yodel echoed through the stainless steel room. The minions looked around frantically, and Anonymous just rolled her eyes. She knew what would happen now. One idiot would be exchanged for another, and the cycle would start over again. Instead of lab coats and rubber and metal, it would be vintage suits and baseball bats and pickles. It was like being Lois Lane, only instead of Superman saving her, she was constantly being kidnapped. Ping pong ball stuck in a match between intruding minor villains and the town supervillain. She wasn't sure whether to laugh or sigh. Maybe both. But why did she decide to be a hero again? Oh, yeah. To make a difference. <laughs>